a musical heritage showcase that would reflect our devotion and love for this great music. I'd like to thank the Holt Center, Lane Arts Council, our producer and director, Kathy Zervak, Chris Dubbs, our musical director, all performers and guests, thank you for your support. We are very happy to have us with us today, our founding director, John Gaynor. His vision to create a university and community choir, Inspirational Sounds, has only continued to grow and inspire us all. I am Marilyn Calkins Reed, president of Inspirational Sounds. And at this time, I'd like to present to you our MC, a young man who works very hard to make a difference in our community. Father, musician, NAACP president, Eric Richardson. Good evening. Got to get, get a little spirit going. Can I hear a, a big good evening? Good evening. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. In the memory of the great Yoruba people of West Africa, I say, Ashe, a greeting affirming the life force that runs through all things, all people. To say, Ashe, is to acknowledge the power and all people to create. Music is a part of all of us. To say ashe is to reaffirm the possibility of continual spiritual growth. African musicians, and in particular the musicians of West Africa, people from the Walu, the Yoruba, Fulani, the Malinke tribes, and many others, were traditionally masters of their stories, their history, the moral teachings, all within the music. And so we must use the time we have creatively and forever realize that the time is right to do right and to create the space in which others can do right. Tonight we begin our musical journey in Africa, in the birthplace of humanity, the birthplace of imagination of dreams. I'd like to welcome tonight Habib Idrisu and the Sounds of Africa, along with the West African Cultural Institute. Please join us on the stage. In the beginning, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. <laughs> 